When you're working on sound files, you're able to see the waveform itself in the exposure sheet as well as in the timeline. And this can be very handy once we get to the section on how to do lip syncing. So I'm going to show you how to see those waveforms. Now, as you see here, I have a sound in my exposure sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my contextual menu and I'm going to choose the view thumbnails. And then when I scroll down a little bit, once I start to see audio where the character actually opens his mouth, we can see a piece of that waveform so we can generate a better lip syncing because we can see what mouth shapes we should put with that particular piece of audio. But we can also go to our timeline and go to the view menu and show sound waveforms. So once again, we can see these waveforms. So when, that, when we're scrubbing the playback head, we're able, we're able to match up lip syncs more precisely because we can see where the audio is going up and down in relation to the mouth shape, which is very, very handy. Another way, of course, you can see a waveform is to actually edit the sound itself. So when you're in the sound, what you could do is you click on the name sound, you choose edit sound, and then when you select the sound in the list here, you're able to see the waveform down here as well as the audio is playing back. So these are ways that are very handy to help you to more precisely match up mouth shapes when you're doing such things as lip syncing or adding special effects such as a door closing or anything slamming or lightning. You can precisely place that element when you can see the rise and fall of the waveform in the timeline as well as in the exposure sheet. And of course, whenever you want to turn those elements off again, just go to the view menu and choose to hide the sound waveforms and you can always go back to your exposure sheet and go back to your contextual menu, turn off the thumbnails so you don't see the waveform anymore. Very easy to do, but it can really help you precisely place your sound effects.